Hello and heartily welcome to a new episode of Trippin' Birds. This time we are on Madeira Island, which is supposed to be a warm destination all year round. Hi, my name is Lotte. And I'm Domek. We are two crazy birds tripping around our beautiful planet. Together we are traveling since quite a long time. And ever since we haven't really stopped and visited around 50 countries since 2004. We are also enthusiastic hikers, nature and wildlife lovers. It all started with travel photography and recently we started sharing our adventures on this channel. We, we are, are Trippin', Trippin Birds. Birds! Madeira, a stunning island with spectacular views, beautiful nature, unique architecture, crazy traditions, and yummy food. Come with us on a winter trip in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. If you like our tips, don't be shy to leave a like, subscribe and activate the notification bell. The sunniest places on the island are located in the south. So make sure to book your stay either in Funchal, the capital, or Ponta do Sol, where you have a big choice of accommodations. We booked a nice apartment in Funchal. We will link it in the description. Alright guys, now we are making our little room tour. Here we got our um, bathroom with a really big shower. You know I like big showers. And then... This neat little kitchen, a living area, a nice balcony on the road. It's not so loud in the night, only during the day. Even sea view, as you can see. I will zoom in. All right, over there. It costs like 60 euros per night and it's really spacious. Like everything around, a lot of supermarkets, stores shopping and a lot of restaurants. There's also a cute pool area with free access on the top floor. And now let's enjoy our stay. Every time we're in Portugal, we always, always, always eat pastéis de nata, a local pastry, which I promise is absolutely addicting. Madeira is famous for its nature and best to explore while you are on a hike. To avoid crowds, we recommend starting early in the morning. We will show you our favorite hiking spots. So Lotte and I are currently at um, Ponta de Sao Lorenzo. That's the most east point of uh, Madeira. Has really nice views. As we mentioned earlier, the south part of Madeira is not only sunny, but also very dry. So the locals came up with a pretty smart solution to bring water from the rainy north down south. They built so-called levadas, which are water-bearing channels. Today a lot of famous hikes are next to the levadas. That is especially good for beginners, because there is no elevation.
hanging bridge number seven. Are we still in Costa Rica? <laughs> One of the most popular hikes is 25 Fontes Trail. Easy, accessible and very scenic, crowned with an amazing waterfall. Make sure to arrive early, as it could be quite busy when buses arrive at around 10 a.m. Lotte, where are we now? Is it Ireland? Scotland? It looks mystical. Let me know where we are Dragons at. Mountains. Dragons Mountains. <laughs> no, actually, we're still in Madeira. Today's a little freezy. We're going on a hike. Um, 13k, 400 vertical meters uh, to the world famous waterfall of Madeira. Doesn't it look a little bit like Hawaii? Jurassic Park? Where are we now? <laughs> I'm so super lost. Wait, there's a Levada. Ah, oh, we're still in Madeira. Finally made it to world epic 25 points of waterfall. Well, it is actually this way, but it's tough. Yeah, it's full of people. Uh, and this one is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, no one here. It's beautiful. Check this one out. Before leaving the north, we stopped at the mystical forest of Fanal. You really feel yourself like in a fairy tale. Here you'll find the oldest trees of the island. Guys, we are at the forest, which is literally super mystic. A lot of, I don't know the English word, it's called Lorbeer in German. I will link it down below. Uh, Lotte, hmm? what are you doing right now? <laughs> to be honest, on this trip, how many, how many of a pastiche de nata did you have? Seventy-two. <laughs> They're just so good. Best snacks. And we hiked a lot. <laughs> we did. Okay, I do the same. Pastiche de nata and fairy forest. The resume of this hike, it was nice at first, but then there are like groups of people and it was so narrow on the Levada, so you had to you had to go on the wall of the Levada and Lotte actually stepped into it and now she's freezing and her foot, look, the foot right side, it's still wet. Also, don't miss the traditional houses of Santana close by. So, we're currently in the rainforest, and guess what? In the rainforest. Guess what? It's raining again. <laughs> no, this time it's not too bad, but it's kind of funny that it seems like it happens all the time that when we are out, in the rainforest, it starts to rain. Even if you're not into hiking, another must-see is Pico di Arriero. Here you'll get an impression of Madeira's breathtaking landscape. We hiked from Pico de Ayero to Pico Ruivo. It's a challenging hike for advanced hikers, but definitely a highlight of this trip. Guys, 
guys this is so unbelievable we are off on the top of Pico Arriviero Arriero and we have to hike uh, there oh my god and, and here is a drop like I think 500 meters deep the good thing is you don't have to look down but I always want to look down because it's so beautiful <laughs> and that's the spectacular of this hike you walk and you have edges on both sides, as you can see here. How are you doing? 300 vertical meters in a few minutes. Big one for me because you got the steep hill on both sides and <laughs> that's freaking me out a little bit but now I'm out of breath because on the way back you have to go way more up save something in the tank if you go do this hike here After all these hikes, we were ready for some treats. Last but not least, we visited the lovely city of Funchal. It has some Lisbon vibes, but it's so much more relaxed. Funchal offers many attractions, such as botanical gardens, market hall, museums and a cute city center. Something. What are we trying? Something. Bolo de caco? Yeah, with cheese. Something like that. And garlic butter. There is also like, like a version with ham and sausage. This one's with cheese. Mm, is it good? good. <laughs> yeah. Can I try it? Uh, okay. Usually I don't share my food, but this time I make an exception. Mm. It's really pretty good. the world famous Cristiano Ronaldo with his sword sitting right in front of this beautiful, beautiful park. Lotte is enjoying a pastiche de nata. We are at the park here in Funchal overlooking the harbor on the right and the city here. This is heaven. <laughs> 
After nine days on Madeira, we would say it's indeed a perfect winter getaway and we will come back for sure. I'm having a virgin cocktail. And I'm having a non-virgin ice cream. I mean, no pastel pastel de nata now. <laughs> Stay tuned, in the next episode we will take you to beautiful Gran Canaria.